What's going on guys? So this is the 10,000 mile review or overview of my 2016 Gulf. And uh, actually currently I'm at 10,720 miles, so a little, little past 10,000 miles. I'm just gonna go over things that have gone well and you know things that I've noticed over the first 10,000 miles. First off, it's been great. Uh, I've used the car for, you know, just commuting and you know, doing normal car things. I haven't uh, haven't got any long road trips or anything, but um, overall it's been been fine and and really no hiccups. Um, I've brought the car in uh, for its oil change. I did that early actually. And I also brought it in for an oil change. So they did an oil change at the same time. I was at like 7,500 miles. But I brought it in early. I just felt like it was too long to bring in the car at 10,000 miles for its first, very first oil change. It just seemed kind of, kind of odd to me. So I, I brought it in earlier. Um, probably would have been fine, but uh, just was a little more cautious. Um, I have winter tires that I switched over onto the same 15 inch wheels. I hope these cars keep moving because if we stop, I'm probably not gonna get up this hill. So uh, yeah, we'll hope that keeps going. Um, and then I switched back the all seasons. So I brought it in for that, but I really haven't had any problems with the car other than the coolant level being low. And I made a video about that as well. See the coolant level? Minimum. And uh, I actually went into the dealership and asked them, you know, what's the deal with the coolant? Um, well, the overflow tank being low. And they said, you know, it's really not an issue and if there's not a light on, then don't worry about it. So here I am not really worrying about it. Um, so yeah, it's really been fairly flawless for the first 10,000 miles. Now, one thing that I have noticed and I was expecting to happen was small rattles to appear, you know, over time, uh, whether it's glue or some, you know, things that secure the plastics together in the car, uh, they start to rattle. Um, and I really actually haven't noticed much other than two, um, two very small ones and it's a rare occurrence. One of them is on my steering wheel. There's a dummy button on the left side of the steering wheel um, between the cruise control settings and uh, it's just a dummy button it's just a plastic plastic piece there and um, it rattles sometimes not all the time just sometimes so that is really not an issue but I thought I'd mention it um, the other one is somewhere in the passenger uh, compartment and I'm really not sure where it's rattling um, and it's not bad, it's just enough to notice. Like if you don't have any music on, you would notice that, you know, ah, what's that? It kind of rattle. Uh, and it's very, very faint. Um, but again, I thought I'd, I'd mention it with you guys. One cool stat I can tell you or provide you with is the um, efficiency I've had. Let's see. Yeah, extended period. So. I've averaged 26 miles to the gallon, and I'd say 70% of that is around town driving. And uh, I'm not exactly a granny driver, per se. I, uh, I like the low-end torque in this car, and uh, let's just say I tend to use it. So I'd say that's pretty good. And I definitely haven't noticed, like, wow, this is an inefficient car by any means. It's a, an efficient car, but it's not a hybrid either, so it's... You know, just a thumbs up there too. And uh, yeah, overall I'd say the ownership of this car has been nothing less than I would have expected it to be. You know, it's a fun car, it does everything I want it to do. Uh, like I mentioned, it's fairly efficient and um, it really haven't, hasn't surprised me with anything. And uh, that actually goes to say a little bit further, my next car, I think I want that surprise, you know, something that's a little on edge, um, maybe performance wise or, or in some category, this car seems to do everything pretty well. And, uh, 
really nothing to complain about. So it's quick overview, <laughs> 10,000 miles, but I figured um, it's nice to know that things have gone, gone fairly well. So I'm sure I'll update you guys, of course, anything that's going on with this car, um, whether it's another milestone at 15,000 miles or if I bring it in for anything, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, things are going, things are going really well. So it's good to touch base with you guys and hope you liked the video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace. But wait, there's more. I just remembered as soon as I hit the power button on my uh, camera here that there was one thing that actually surprised me with this car and you actually have to uh, look out for. And that is the, the low end torque plus these little 15 inch wheels in the rain is uh, actually even on the dry pavement. I'm surprised how much low end torque this car has to spin the wheels. And I keep my car in you know traction control mode uh, all the time, so traction control's on. And in the rain, you know, if you're a fairly spirited driver, such as myself, uh, it doesn't take much to spin the front wheels, which is actually kind of kind of fun. And uh, I mean, within reason, it's just, I don't try to spin the wheels, but it, it is surprising how much it can happen, even if you're just doing a fairly aggressive start. Um, so I just thought I'd add that in there. And uh, I also ended the video with my, an unusual ending. Um, so this time I'm gonna end it properly and say, uh, you know, have fun and uh, drive safe.